Welcome to St. Cecilia's Music Hall. I hope you enjoy our little selection of old time songs on old time instruments. We're going to start with a song called Monday Date. One, two, one, two, three, four. We're going to do um, a very old song for you next. And if you've ever seen the film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? This song features quite prominently in it. And it's a lovely song, a positive song called I'll Fly Away. Thank you. 
One of my favorite singers is a lady called Annette Hanshaw. And although this song 
is not closely associated with her. It is one that I love, and particularly because it has a really lovely big thumping beginning. You'll see what I mean when we get started. It's called Moan and Row. Thank you. 
Our final song for you today is a wonderful old gospel song, very dramatic song, but I think you'll enjoy it as much as we do. It's called Satan, Your Kingdom Must Come Down. One, two, one, two, three, four. It's been a real pleasure being here in St. Cecilia, Cecilia's Hall in St. Cecilia's Museum of Musical Instruments. And um, it's great fun to be able to use these old instruments to play this old music. Um, obviously, I'm a vocalist, and the, the type of music that was performed back then was very heavy on brass instrumentation, which of course meant that the vocal technique was a little different. And it's something that I greatly enjoy doing because it's quite challenging. But I think far more challenging has been using these beautiful old instruments and I'm going to pass you over to our resident experts of the Copper Caps Band to discuss that with you now. Here's Bill. So this is a, a con 
instrument that has been in the collection here at St. Cecilia's Hall, and I'm privileged to be able to play it. What is interesting is that, having looked it up, it was made in 1925, which is exactly right in the middle of the period of the music we're playing this afternoon. And this narrow bore makes, provides that sort of punchy, tight sound that you hear on the trombone in, in music of this period. And, uh, and, and indeed, it is, it's a wonderful thing to be able to play and to play on ensemble with genuinely authentic instruments from the time. So uh, there we are, a con trombone 1925. I'm a little bit younger than that. <laughs> and I think this is a, a, a York, also 1925, which was, uh, yeah, it was a great year in jazz, pretty yeah. much uh, when Louis Armstrong was, was taking everything to a new level. Um, it's, 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 it plays really well for a nearly 100 year old instrument, but it's a, and it's quite a good sound, but it's a tiny little bell. I mean, this is about the, a third of the size of a normal trumpet bell, but it's not too small a sound. But anyway, it's been fascinating uh, having a shot of it. Thank you. That's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, this, is, this here is an Epiphone tenor banjo, which is tuned G, C, D, A. Uh, which is very different to the kind of banjos you'd find in bluegrass music. This also dates from 1925. I don't know if they had some kind of bulk deal buy on that particular year, but it's an Epiphone Professional, which is a quite a nice instrument, and it also belongs to the collection here. This is, this is a Bishop Elkhart sousaphone. I've been told we refer to it as the jumbo sousaphone now. I don't know why. Um, yeah, and it's it's so much fun to play. So basically, uh, yeah, sousaphones kind of appeared around the late 1800s, and it's named after John Philip Sousa, who um, developed them for his marching band, so people could play outdoors and march, and they've kind of taken off from there. And they're really popular in jazz because they're great for outdoor gigs, and they just project sound. And they actually used tubas and sousaphones in kind of earlier jazz recordings because the mics picked them up better than the double basses. So they've been around, yeah, and it just, and you can do lots of things on it. Um, so they just thought. But a lot of the modern sousaphone players now do all sorts of tricks, like. Yeah, so they're great fun. I've had a lovely day playing on it. A big huge thank you to everybody who's been filming and doing the sound and for inviting us to come and share our nerdy love of early jazz and blues with you today with authentic 1925 instruments. Thank you very much for having us.